man, man, you here again? Yeah, man. Burning on both ends. I see. That's a double shift every day. What the last three weeks, sir? I got to. My lady do any day now. I gotta save up as much as I can because she can't work no more. Man, it'll get better for you, man. I've been there before. Ain't no choice but to get better, right? You know what you have? A little girl. My little girl slowed me down too, but now I'm on my fourth. Damn, fourth? You gonna stop pulling on me, John? I mean, I tried. <laughs> what? Three kids ago. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. You sure? All right. My lady, her water just broke. I'm about to be a father. I guess you laid a few days off, huh? I got to check. Appreciate it, boss. You're welcome. Take care, little girl. Yeah. Turn around, get that shit the fuck up, shit. Bro, don't do this. Man, fuck you, get that shit up. Bro, I'm headed to the hospital right now. Get that shit, fuck come on, man. I'm headed to the fucking mall. You better get that money up. Yo, I'm about to have a daughter. Man, fuck you and that daughter, man. Jackpot. Is this all I March 17th, the day I will never forget. That's the day God called home an angel and sent down a blessing. Is this all Anthony Robinson died this day. Not one paper covered it. It wasn't important, as that same day, there were four other homicides. But something else happened that day. Anthony's daughter was born. I gave birth to our little girl, and she's everything I could ask for. Since Anthony died, I've never allowed myself to love again. Focusing on myself and our daughter has been my only goal. I'm in school to earn my BSN, and I'm currently working as an LPN. I don't have much of a support system outside of Miss D, who's been like a distant aunt. My prayer is one day it will all pay off. The hard work, the school, the single parenting, but damn, I miss Anthony. Nicole and I will always love you. Hey, baby. Hi, Regina. How's my girls doing today? We're good. Go ahead upstairs. You'll be good. Child, you don't take those things out there. Girls. Hey, what? It's causing a distraction. A distraction to what? To my peace of mind. Oh, goodness. You need to stop. You need to leave my baby alone. Mm -hmm. And my baby. So how's, <laughs> how's these exams coming along? Ugh, they're kicking my butt. Honey, that's okay. It's gonna be worth it in the long run. Yeah, that's what they keep telling me, so. In the meantime, I'd like to see you out on a date. All you do is work and school and take care of your daughter. Look, I barely have time for myself, let alone a man. You haven't seen anybody at work or at school? No, not at all, they're corny. <laughs> they, they ain't got no swag to them and, I don't know, they just can't handle someone like me. Besides, it's not like I need a man anyway. Girl, you need a man to help you handle some of those needs, mm -hmm. girl. That's what I got Batman for. That's what you got who, yes. what? I call him a black knight. I don't know nothing <laughs> about a black knight or a Batman, but you need a real man, girl. My mama and her mama ain't had no man, and they turned out just fine. I'm independent, and I will get a man when I'm ready to deal with one. Honey, all that independence crap has got you messed up in the head, young lady. Girl sing her song? And she's got a man. You sing your song and you got, what, a toy and a pillow to cuddle with? So what? I'm not supposed to want to be independent? What am I in school for then? Honey, independent means you're a strong young woman. You know what you want. You know how to go after it. But it also means that if you need help, you know where to get it and who to get it from. You right. I understand. All right, now get on out of here before I start charging you for my advice. Nicole, behave yourself. And no Judge Judy. That's Judge Maybelline, honey. Go ahead before you make me miss my first case. Take your clothes off and get in the bed. I don't like playing that game. You're not supposed to touch me like that. Oh, well, that's the rules. Plus, you never play fair. I'm talking to Steve when we play a house or a doctor. We always have to take our underwear off. You can go ahead and tell, but we're both going to get in trouble.
You do your homework? Yes. Now, Nicole. Well, I still got to do my reading a little bit ahead. So what do you be doing at Ms. D's all day? Well, we watch the news and Wendy. News? And Wendy. So she got you doing nothing educational? Well, we do watch educational shows. Mm, like what? Yeah, maybe. Oh. Hey, what's up? How you? I'm fine. Yes, you are. Oh, boy, please. Now you know I look a mess. A mess? Nah, you look beautiful. Besides, it's at the long day at work, so it's supposed to show some looking tired, right? Tired? Ain't nobody said nothing about no tired. You throwing shots? Oh, no, no, not at all. Like you work hard, hard work shows. It look good on you, though. Mm. So what does that say about you? Because every time I see you looking brand new. <laughs> OK, so now, now you throwing shots, huh? <laughs> <laughs> look, I work. Uh, doing what exactly? I'll tell you over dinner. Look. I don't really got the time. I'm in work and I got school, so. I mean, I don't want too much of your time. It's an hour or two. Besides, you want to give me more after we get to know each other a little better. Mm -hmm. Pretty confident, huh? I shouldn't be. I didn't say that. So what you saying? You tell me. I'm saying I'm going to pick you up from work tomorrow night. We'll get something to eat. How that sound? Mm, it's not going to work. I got work during the day, and then I got school at night. Oh, so because you in school instead of work, <laughs> I can't eat, huh? <laughs> OK, OK. Well, look, I'll pick you from school. That's cool? We could do that. Right. I'm at the corner of 75th and Broad. 7 o'clock. And don't be late. Wait, wait. You ain't even my girl yet. And you already placing demands? <laughs> OK. And you, young lady, you have a good night, too, OK? Yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. So uh, how was your day? Slow motion, but I got a lot accomplished. That's good to hear. Yeah. Had to do a little run around, make a few moves. Mm -hmm. How about you? It's busy. I don't know, it's always something between work, school, being a single parent. Because you need help. Mm. And what, you my knight in shining armor? Yeah, black knight. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's, what's all that about? <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> So what is it that you really do? Do a little construction. Man, I don't bullshit me. Whenever one of y'all asks what you do and the answer is construction, you both know what that means. <laughs> one of y'all. Mm-hmm. So if you know what that means, then why you ask? I mean, I'm no judge, but I don't know. You just seem different. Like you could be doing something better with your life, you know? Nah, uh, I'm just like the rest. I can just hide it better. I guess that's what, uh, that's what draw people towards me. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it worked. I mean, we having a good time, right? Look, after this date, if you don't want to go out no more, it's cool. But let's just enjoy the best of this time right now. I didn't say I was going anywhere. I'm a big girl. I can handle myself. <laughs> oh, can you? <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Listen, I don't want no smoke, <laughs> thug life. <laughs> It is. So, do I ever have to be fearful in your company? You know, that's one thing that you'll never have to be worried about. Appreciate that. Yeah, my pleasure. So tell me something about you. I mean, what you want to know? I don't know, like a secret or something. <laughs> then if I tell you a secret, it wouldn't be no secret no more than would it? It'll be our secret. <laughs> okay, our secret. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Well, my real name not Charlie. It's Charlene. When I was born, I was born a female. That explains the boobs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> How about I go? And then you can go. Yeah, that worked a little better. All right. So this one time, mm -hmm. I dined in Dash. I couldn't afford mine and Nikki's food, so I act like she pooped herself and just walked out on the bill. And that server was good, too. Very deserving of a tip. A diamond dash? Yeah. <laughs> the way you was talking earlier, I thought you was going to say that you had bodies or something. Man, excuse me, Mr. Nino Brown. It's probably one of your many secrets. <laughs> huh? Nothing like that. But, um, well, when I was younger, around like, around like six or seven, one of my mom's girlfriends used to touch on me. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, she would, uh, she would act like she was washing me up. And, uh, she would fill on me and play on me and things like that. I, mean, I knew something about it wasn't right. I knew it was wrong, but 
I was a kid. It was just one of those things that happened. Well, did you tell anyone about it? Nah. Nah. I was quiet. It's a black sheep of the family, so initially I faded the black. I was an easy target. Do you still see her? Yeah, from time to time. Ain't no hard feelings, though. Well, I don't know what to say. I just want to hug you right now. <laughs> when you hug me, will you hold me? Of course. And when you hold me, will you kiss me? Mm, I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> You know I've been practicing Everyone that came before you, baby Was practice, yeah You know I've been practicing Everyone that came before you, baby Was practice, yeah You know I've been practicing Had it not been for the boys before, yeah together because I'm working late so I'm taking you to Miss D's. Well I was gonna be there. Girl I don't know. Can you please just get your stuff together? What is this? What? Your dolls. Why don't they have any clothes on? This is the way they play. So they can't play with their clothes on? This is the rules when they play in the house. You know what? Just get your things together and put some damn clothes on those dolls. I don't know what's wrong with that girl. What's wrong? I don't know. She's acting real off. She being too grown. That's what it is. She'd be all right. She just learning herself. I guess so. She's really giving me a hard time about going to Miss D's. I got the time. Hey, look, I ain't doing nothing tonight, so I watch it for you. You? Yeah, me. What? You sure think I can do it? Yeah, I mean that would actually help a lot. I'd be able to stop and get something to eat. All right, cool. Thank you. No problem. Hey, baby girl. I'm leaving. Please behave yourself, all right? Thank you again. Hey, babe. Have a good night. You too. Hey, Nicole, you want something to eat? No. You mean no thank you? No thank you. Okay. Well, come out here and have a seat where I can see you. Why don't your dolls have any clothes on them? I don't know. Do you like to see your dolls with their private parts showing? Well, sometimes they like get in trouble and need to be punished. Sometimes they need to change their clothes. Oh, well, what's going on with them right now? 
They're about to take their bath. That's why they don't have any clothes on. Hmm. Well, did you take your bath yet? No, not yet. Well, you should get ready to get up and um, get ready to take your bath and get ready for bed. Do I have to now? Okay. Hey, does your mom usually bathe you or do you bathe yourself? I do it myself. Okay, well, tonight, I'm going to help you. Because I don't want mommy to see that you did one of those rush jobs, you know? And when she comes home, she's going to see that you smell all nice and fresh. We're going to say that you did it all by yourself, like a big girl. Are you good at keeping secrets? She's inside. They said Charlie shot somebody. It doesn't, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't even sound like him. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Babe, it's messed up you had to see me like that. Just trying to give me 15 in life for that shit. I know I messed up, losing your trust after all we've gone through. And I hope Nicole doing good. You know how close we are. It has to be hard for her losing the only man she ever knew. What makes all of this worse is that I left you guys alone. I told the guards that I didn't want any visits from you the other day because I couldn't keep seeing you like this. It's hurting me so much and knowing I can't do anything to change it. Day by day, all I can think about is your face, your touch, your lips, and the times we had together. That's why it's hard for me to say this. Don't come by this prison no more. Bad enough I can't be free. Then I gotta be reminded of all the things I can't have. Just know I'm saying this only because I love you. Your man, Charlie. Man, what's up, ma? Ma, you better go ahead with the corny ass tiger. Nah, I'm just trying to be your black knight. Oh my god. Hey. Oh my god, I miss you so much. Well, what's up, baby? Mm. Damn. How did you. L listen, don't even worry about that. Just know that I'm home. You look good. You look good too. Damn. So it's been seven years since you, uh. Not quite seven, but it should have been seven years for you too. Well. Mommy, now, either Nicole didn't grow in the last seven years or you adopted a child that looked just like you. Um, Charlie, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Alexis. Alexis, can you say hi to Mr. Charlie? Hi. Hey. So what was I supposed to do? You told me to leave and not come back. Yeah, well, that don't mean you go out and fuck the first nigga you see once my cell closed either. So what, uh, I'm supposed to put my life on hold while you're in there? It ain't about putting your life on hold. It's about holding me down. How can I hold you down if you don't exist? You left me. That shit hurt. I had to move on. So, so what, what you, what you married now? No. He decided to go his way and I went mine. I guess that seems to be the new things nowadays, huh? You know what? You can miss me with the bullshit. I don't need your judgment. Hey, hey listen, I'm sorry. It's just, this is a lot to take in all at once. I know. I understand. Wow. Um, Mom, are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Um, Nicole, do you remember Mr. Charlie? Yeah. Hey, Nick. Hi, Mr. Charlie. All I get is a hi. I haven't seen you since you was in diapers. That's all I get, girl. Give me a hug. Okay. Wow, you have, you have grown. <laughs> Give me a hug. She sure has. Yeah. Um, are, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. We're gonna head out. Alright. Can you get, um, get Alexis, please? Yeah. Hey, hey, so, I'm gonna see you later, right? Of course. Tom. Look, 
You waited seven years. You can wait a couple more hours. Look at you all grown up. You scared me. Man, that thing looking right, girl. Look, I'm I'm sorry. Um, I didn't know you was down here. I'm gonna go put something else on. It's cool. Just come sit right here. Um, okay, but my mom, she's about to come home soon, so I can only take a few seconds. That's cool, that's cool. It won't be long. Sit right here. I'm okay. You know, you used to call me daddy, right? Whatever happened to those days? Um, I don't know. You went away and I got older. Right. But that hurts me. Because I'm still the same guy. I'm still daddy. You know, I remember. You used to come sit right here on my lap. And you would tell me all about your day. We got to get back to those days. Where things was good for everybody. We cool. Mr. Charlie. See? See that right there? Mister? What did things get so weird between us, huh? See, you gotta feel like you can rely on me and I can rely on you. Um, look, I got your back. You got my back. But... That's what I like to hear. But what? You know what? I, I think I need to go. Um, my, my mom, she's about to come home and I wanna get ready. So. No, wait, 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 wait. We just getting reintroduced to each other again. Um, Mr. Charlie. What's wrong? <laughs> there's more we need to talk about. No, Charlie. No, there's more that we need to talk about. No, Charlie. What was that about? The damn all that. Where the hell you been? I'm in here waiting for you. You need to go talk to Nicole, fresh ass. I'm sorry, babe. What'd she do? Listen. I'm out here trying to be a good father figure for her, and she's trying to be grown. You need to tell her little ass to respect me. All right, I'll talk to her. Can I have some juice? Damn, you're so daggone greedy. Can you just wait for me in the kitchen? You need to check her little ass, too, because she's probably getting it from the other one. Talking about some, we going to have boys coming over the house, and she going over their house when we ain't here. You know what? I'm going to handle this. I'm sorry. Come in. I know a lot's changed since Miss D died, but you've always been considered family here. And um, I know it ain't much, but me, Tracy, and the kids can provide a room for you. Yeah, Miss D, she's treating us. I really appreciate y'all bringing me in like that. Girl, cut it out. <laughs> Damn. You've always been so nice to me. You always treat me like this. Well, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Okay. <laughs> now, what did he do? I don't even want to talk about it. Then why didn't you just go to the police? Because he's crazy. And the cops, they don't do nothing but just get social workers involved. And then it's his word against my word. And then my mom, she would probably have to take off work, eventually lose her job. So it's, it's just too much for me to mess up. I understand. I understand yeah. that. For that, you're a very, very strong man. Come here, give me a hug. You walked in here, you didn't give me no hug. Bring it in, bring it in. All right? Safe, okay. Safe. Now I want you to go ahead and get comfortable. You know, mi casa es su casa, right? <laughs> Listen, got a blanket right there, pillows and everything. Um, I don't know if you need any night clothes. You need night clothes? Oh no, oh, no, I'm fine. I <laughs> brought night clothes already, so. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna be upstairs. I'm only a few doors down. If you need anything, don't hesitate to knock. Okay. Okay. okay thank you, cousin. No problem. Right. Good night. <laughs>
just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. How in the hell is that trying to help? Shh. Calm down. Chill out. Wendell, we cousins! <laughs> Lean real blood. No relation. <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? Tracy, there's nothing, nothing. What's going on, all right, baby? N Nicole, Wendell, what's going on? Nothing. What's you know what? I was just leaving. Thank you. Look, we were just having a conversation. Wait, you Nicole, know what? Nicole, mm -mm. Nicole. Wendell, you was about a nasty-ass nigga. Get out my face. On, Tracy, mm -mm. Tracy, baby, no. come on. Tracy. What's up, little man? Huh? We good? No. Okay. Good night, guys. Have a good All right. weekend. What won't happen again? You're sleeping in my class? Or are you being in school before the doors actually open? I'm sorry, Miss Anderson, it won't happen again. Is everything okay at home? I can't help you if you don't tell me what's going on. Yes, everything is fine, Miss Anderson. It won't happen again. Are you pregnant? No. There's counselors you can speak with. I don't need counseling, Ms. Anderson, and I'm not pregnant. Are you sexually active? I am, I'm not, I don't know. Yes, I do. No, I'm not sexually that, active. That doesn't sound like a certain answer. Like, I need something definite. Ms. Anderson, I'm not sexually active. Okay. How's things at home? How's mom? Mom, she's... She's good. She's great, actually. She just got a new promotion at her hospital. She's one of the head nurses there. OK, well, that's good. I'm sure she would be really upset to hear that you came to school early just to go to sleep. Ms. Anderson, I said it won't happen again. Well, where are you going? Are, are you finished speaking? Yes, we're finished. Thank you. Gina, Gina, you home? What the fuck is you doing here? Huh? First you lied, now you stealing? I ain't lying, now you stealing nothing. But what the hell is this? Huh? Look, I wasn't looking to mess around with you. All I was trying to do was talk to you. I mean, maybe I got a little too comfortable, but I wasn't looking to do nothing with your little ass. Listen, me and your mom, we in love. Yeah, we fight and we argue, we yell from time to time, but that's just something that we do. I bust my ass around here to try to make things the way they used to be. I took you in as my own when you was a little baby. Although your mom went around and messed around with me and had another kid, I still took her ass in too. I get no respect for the sacrifices that I make from your mother, from your sister. I thought you, I thought we was different. Thought that I could trust you. I see you just like everybody else. Charlie. See? See that right there? You used to call me daddy. Give me a hug, ladybug. I'm just gonna call. So after all that, after all I said, you just gonna say fuck it, huh? Fuck me, huh? No, no, Charlie. No, 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 what? No, what? sometimes for the victim and the culprit to, to reverse roles. The victim will often feel that they've done something wrong, that they caused the problem. I mean, they feel that if they tell someone they've been violated, that they will be the ones to cause their family to separate or, or suffer. First step to change is empowerment. You are not weak. You are not insignificant. You 
you are powerful. Just being here today talking about this says so. And your relationship? Business, pal, it's none of your business. That's somebody else's man. Whatever. Hey. Hey. Did you just come from Dr. Hanson's office? Yes, I did. We've both been there. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. Look, Dr. Hanson do that shit to everybody. But he real effective and he really cares. So it's all worth it. He's going to make you cry. That's inevitable. He gonna make you think about whatever the situation is. By the end of the session, you have a smile on your face. It'll be okay. So how long have you two been coming here? Off and on, like two, three months now. Yeah, same here. So has it helped? Let's put it like this. Life was way worse beforehand, so. That don't sound too bad. We have group in a few moments, won't you stop by? Uh, no. If I was you, I would do another one-to-one -one first, then come to group. How about you let her make decisions for herself? Listen, you can either do your one-on-one -on -one, or you can come to group. Either way, they got food if you come hungry. Cut it out, boy. You know a bitch let it eat. Excuse me. Oh, yes. I heard about your group. Yes. I, I don't know. Um, have all those girls been going through the same thing? <clears throat> well, that depends on what, what thing you mean. Were they all hurt? What does hurt look like? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I only came for a group session. I know. So, should I come back? What time do we start? <clears throat> Actually, we started five minutes ago. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Um. Asking about the women in the group? Yeah, um, were they all hurt? Well, what do you mean? Oh, were they all raped? <clears throat> well, I mean, I can't discuss my client's personal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can't discuss my client's personal information, but we can certainly talk about you. Why are you here? Because I was hurt. Hurt how? Look, hurt by. Well, define hurt. I mean, own it. Nicole, listen. You can run away from our conversation. You can run away from the people or the person that hurt you. But you can't outrun the hurt you feel unless you face it. I just remember her talking. She was getting mad at me because I was splashing water on the floor. She slapped me, and then she threatened to beat me. She said, stand up. You're taking too damn long. I'm gonna wash you up now. She. Who is she? She's my aunt. What did she do? I was seven years old, man. It's okay, Ray. You're in a safe place. You can let it out. She made me stand up. She was playing with my... Look, man, I don't remember that shit, man. I blocked, I blocked most of it out. Did you tell anybody? No. Why not? Because I was the outcast. I was the bad one. I was always in trouble. I was considered a liar. Nobody was gonna believe me. That's why she chose me. She knew what she was doing. Easy to hide in plain sight. Was your aunt your guardian? No, she was always at the house. She was on drugs real bad, man. My mom wanted to keep her off the streets. 
Ain't nobody see this shit coming. Did you tell anybody? My lady. And now y'all. Man, this, this chair is uncomfortable, man. You got another one? Ray, how's that affected you? I, mean, I don't know. That's why I'm here. You supposed to tell me. How old are you, Ray? 17. How old is your lady? She's in her 30s. Is it safe to say that some way you actually enjoyed the encounter with your aunt? What? Man, don't, don't ever ask me no shit like that, man. And stop looking at me like that. Y'all all got problems too. Ray, answer with logic, not, not emotion. I mean, I guess at first it felt good. I'm, man, that was some freak shit, man. No. No, I did not enjoy it. And how many of your girlfriends are your age or younger? All my ladies been older. You see, guys, this is exactly how your past trauma molds your current lives. I'm done with this shit, man. Okay, let's, let's take a break. Uh, Lisa, you, you agreed to share next, right? Okay. <laughs> Every time we come, it's the same thing over sorry, and sorry. over again. Just one hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear what happened to you. She's sorry for me, fool. I feel sorry for this freak-ass nigga who got his ass took. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's not about you being rude. We're all in here telling our stories anyway. I'm not here for you to feel sorry for me. But I am sorry. And here you go with this sorry shit again. What you here for? I was just Excuse here. me. She's new here. And you gonna run her off with your overly thug ass. Get my face, you faggot. See, you need to understand that this fag will fuck you up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come on, let, let's get back to group. Come on, guys, S sit down. Now, what we have here is a misunderstanding. We see anger, hurt, frustration, humiliation. This is a group setting. Each of you has at least two common interests. You were hurt, but you are survivors. Be proud of that and, and own it. All right, let's, let's give Lisa our attention and respect. Lisa? I would like to talk, <laughs> if it's okay with mister. Listen, if Lisa would allow you to take the floor and speak, that's fine. Lisa? Yeah, that's fine. Mister? Wow, you ready to get that work? Ain't that what the battle rap boys say? We're gonna get that work. Just make sure you got my money. Man, you ain't had no money since payday. <laughs> yeah, cause I got that. What's up, Neff? What's up with your boy? Leave the youngin' alone. Let him do him. Yo, we're not even gonna get in all that right now, all right? Man, that's that bullshit. You need to get the little nigga some pussy. It ain't like he had plenty of opportunities with all these little cuties that he hang out with. So what's the problem? Young boy said that they just friends. I don't understand why y'all got a problem with the way the little youngin' act anyway. If I have to get the little nigga some pussy myself, who the fuck is you? Motherfucking Richard Simmons superhero team? Really? What you know pussy getting ass? Alright. Look, man. Bro, I don't even deal with it. I see the young boy when it's time to eat, clean up his room, his school grades, and every so often he catch a little fever. 
So you don't give him no uncle fatherly advice, no nothing? Now what you want me to say to him? How about stop sucking the dick? Man, what you better do is cut these damn cards and shut your dumb ass up. Yeah, all right. You want me to fix you something? No. I'm making myself. Look, don't pay attention to your uncle and their friends. They don't mean no harm. I've been dealing with this all my life. Ain't nothing gonna change now. I wish you change. Change what, Auntie? Look, maybe if you hung out with your uncle and his friends, maybe you'd be a little different. A little different? Change what, Auntie? Oh, you want me to change me? So you think this is a choice? This is just as much of a choice for me as it is a choice for you. You to be the way that you are. Maybe I can ask the pastor to pray for you. Maybe we can get some prayers on because prayer does change things. So you want to pray for me now? Yes. You like being a woman, Auntie? Yes. Why? Because I'm a woman and that's how God then made me. Then why should I change the way that he made me? Tone, tone. I'm just saying, you people are something else. I mean, y'all hypocrites. Y'all want to advocate for change, but then want to decide who gets it. Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't do this. Don't blame God on this. I mean, you know, that same book that you keep throwing at me? I could be the best nephew that you ever asked for. But the moment I decide not to live the way that you think is best fit, now it's like I become like Jack the Ripper or somebody. Look, in the book of Leviticus, this is what the Bible says. That a man shouldn't lay down with another man. Now that's what it says. It also says that all sins are created equal. And if I accept him as my Lord and Savior, then I should be fine. Accepting Jesus and you running around like a little girl is two different things and you know. I'm not here for no church service, Lisa. Who are you talking to? Who are you disrespecting like that? Disrespect? Yes. It's the fact that you're my caregiver and you rather inquire about my sexuality than worry about your husband. Who the hell are you talking to, first of all? Let me tell you something. We took you in, me and your uncle, when your mother and your father left you. Otherwise, you would have been in foster care. We the one to put clothes on your back, food on the table, gave you the best education. We the ones that support you when you're running around church acting like a little girl and we got to stand up for you. We do that. So let me tell you something. Take your selfish ass, get you something to eat, and have a good day before I end your day. <sighs> Game time. Man, you something that? I can use, man. What did you doing? How you got, like, seven cards, man? Hi, Mr. James. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm good. Is Kyle here? Yeah, he's up in his room. But you can't see? Huh? You can hum. You can hear. I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Mr. James ain't the only one sitting here. Where your man is at? Oh, uh, I apologize. Hello, everyone. My name's Derek. Okay. Hi, Derek. Hi, Mr. Derek. Yo, you know how old she is? 15 to get you 30. What? How old is you? 16. Get your ass in that house. Yeah, baby, go, go on upstairs. Don't pay him no mind, okay? Kyle's up in his room. Why are you coming to my house trying to check somebody? I don't give a fuck where I am. Shorty come through, I'm talking to her. You a guest in my house. And pluck, nigga. I don't know about plucking, but ain't about money. This mother. Yo, I'm not. What are you doing, man? Hiding cards under the table, ass nigga. Get out of here. Damn, God, why is it so dark in here? Girl, this room reflects my mood. <laughs> Shit, I'm right with you. I just left Rodney. So what, you stayed over there last night? No. He said his wife was coming home, so we left and went shopping. Girl, you fucking crazy. You keep fucking with that married man. His wife gonna cut your ass. She ain't doing shit. He only with her for the kids. And you believe that shit? Look, he told me we can't be together because her ass with the kids and the age difference. But when I turned 18, we got our plan all laid out. I mean, right. niggas really ain't shit. And you just out here believing this nigga, Ashley. Really? Kyle, I'm in love. I ain't no damn fool. So what's your plan then? 
well, he gave me some spending money, so yeah. why don't we go shopping for a few and you help me work that up? It's just what I'm talking about. Yeah. I need some retail therapy. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Take you boy for like I you was doing all day not answering my fucking calls, huh? You spending my fucking money while you was at it, huh? You should answer this fucking call. You been spending my money too, okay? No, sir, huh? No! Kyle, just leave him, huh? fuck in the car. your boyfriend probably wanted that shit anyway i ain't want that shit back the fuck up all right nah. i ain't want that shit oh, please sit down ignore him just ignore him right that was my only experience with a guy so if that was your only experience how do you know if you're gay because i know what i like just because somebody decided to violate me that don't change who i am I know what I'm attracted to. Well said, Kyle. That's well said. Be true to yourself. And always be willing to overcome anyone who subjects you to something different. Hey, um, I don't feel too bad. Can I go outside? I feel too bad. I need to come home. Hey, what's up, babe? Nicole. She's been in and out of the bathroom all day. Nicole. I thought she was done with us here. She found her way back. Yeah, well, she be all right. I think she might be pregnant. Pregnant? You did say she was being a fast ass, right? Yeah. I think she let one of these little niggas get her pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, well, if she is, then we gotta get that taken care of because we already struggle enough trying to take care of the ones we gotta take care of now. Are you talking about a newborn? Well, don't jump the gun. I'm not saying she is, but that's the same type of nausea I got with both my pregnancies. And none of mine. Don't go there. What? I'm just saying, if we not having our baby like we plan to do as a family, then we damn sure ain't gonna entertain the daughter taking care of another one. That's not ours. Look, I'm gonna take it to the doctors and we'll go from there. You've been through a lot, but I've been working with, with you for a long time now. And I mean, you've come a long way. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cole. Hi. Nicole and I'm 15 and I'm pregnant. What the fuck do you mean she's pregnant? That's exactly what I said. She's pregnant. You sure? I got that shit confirmed? You know the test don't be 100% right. Yes, it's confirmed. The test is official. <sighs> what the fuck am I gonna do? Excuse me? What are we gonna do? What is she gonna do?
Hey, um, Anthony, do you think you can um, meet me in the park? Yeah, in about um, five minutes. I'm already here. Alright, okay. Alright, bye. Why are you acting like this? You're acting more mad than me. What? Look, I get it. I'm upset. We're all upset, but you sitting here acting like you're the one that's pregnant. Yo, that shit ain't funny, man. I ain't laughing. So what you saying? I'm saying that you're taking this extra hard, and I don't need that right now. Man, so that's what I get because I care, huh? It has nothing to do with caring. It's just you. you... What is it about then? Nothing, baby. Nothing. 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 You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Damn. All right, damn. Shit. Why are you looking so sad? And why'd you invite me out here to this park? Because I just wanted to see you and talk to you. Okay. Well, I'm here. You've been pretty distant. I'm just trying to give you your space. Thank you. I've been going through a lot. Like what? You know you can talk to me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Should we talk here? You want to go get something to eat? No, um, I don't have much of an appetite, so we could just... We can just talk here. So what's up? Okay, Anthony, you can't tell anybody. All right, now you're scaring me. Anthony, I'm I, I'm pregnant. What? Yes, I, I'm pregnant. What? How? When? Who? I thought you was a virgin. I, I thought I, we. I I, I I am. I I I was. I don't know. So all this time I thought we. It's not what you think. It's not what I think. I think you had sex and got pregnant. You told me what I'm missing. Anthony, it's not what it looks like. So how am I supposed to take this? How about be supportive or be my friend? Oh, well, I'm sorry, friend, but I thought we was close enough that you'd let me know if you had somebody you was dealing with. We are! So how the hell do you explain this? Never mind, I gotta go somewhere. I'm already late. Yo, in stop room. running away from your problems. Running away? You keep running away every time we have these hard discussions. That's because you're... That's because I'm what? N nothing. It's, it's not you, it's me. Now I get hit with that line? If only you knew. I know enough. You don't know shit! I know that you're the only girl I care about outside my mom. I know that I like you a lot, but I can see you obviously ain't got enough time for me. Anthony. No. It's fine. I'm out. I'm done. Wait, I can't come do here. it. I... Get off with me. Hey, girl, what's up? I've been trying to reach you these last few hours. I thought little Breezy got his hands on you again. Hey, I'm fine. Then, girl, what is this? Be quiet. Girl, are you pregnant? I don't know. And be quiet. You're around a corner in the car. You're waiting for me. A romantic date for two on the birth control hour, please. Girl, what the fuck is you doing? Why are you so hard on him? He a good man just a, going through a lot. A good man? Yes. Because the bitch you had to turn to, you seen both the first time I met him. I think I got a reason not to like the man. He's just misunderstood. That's the same thing they said about Michael Myers before he decided to stab up the whole damn house. Girl, I guess I want you to be that one. Which one? The one I wish I said I could have done more for before it was too late. Hold on, let's come now. Hey. Yeah, I had a hard time finding it. I got it now. I'm about to get in line and pay for it. Alright, bye. Bye, Ike. Bitch, what the fuck is you doing? Look, I gotta go. And who that tall cutie asking me with? Girl, worry about your own man and let me worry about mine, okay? Really? Yes, really. Well, look, I might have some free time tomorrow. You wanna go to that group? I mean, not really, unless they got free food. Cause you know what bitch love to eat. <laughs> Nicole, come eat. Thanks, babe. something Nicole even if it's just a little bit mom I tried but every time I do I get nauseous you know I may have something that could help with that so what you gonna do about that you know stuff like this will ruin your mother you going through with this? Going to bring this family down? Or maybe just you. Listen, you silly little bitch. 
All right, I'm warning you. It may be nasty as hell, but it should help. Thanks. I make, I make a run. My food in the microwave for me. I get it later when I get back. What? Is that important that you can't finish your meal? You know I never miss a meal if it wasn't necessary. Sometimes the hardest move is the best. Nicole, is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. Well, if you did have a problem, you would tell me, right? Yep. I don't know, it's just you two you used to be so close. And now it's like you can't even get along. In time, Mom. And what about me? What about you? You distance yourself even from me. You used to be able to talk to it's me. It's not intentional. So what are we going to do about it? I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, I think we should start with a moment of honesty. And then we can end with a mani patty. Let's start with a mani patty. Mm, yeah, of course. Of course you would say that. Why are you being so damn secretive? Bet it's that boy Terrence's baby, isn't it? No, it's it's not. Oh, I liked him. I thought he was different. <sighs> he is different, but it's not him. Oh, notice you've been coming home late. Is it because you're spending time with this mystery boy? No, I wish, but no. I think you should bring him around. I mean, I deserve to meet the father of my grandchild, right? Oh, you've met him. I have. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I hope it's not one of these nasty little boys from around the street. It's not. Boy, come get this door. Probably one of your friends. Oh, no. Okay, I got it. Who is it? Was she supposed to ask who it is before you open the door? Uncle James, he's not here. Let me in. Same thing then. Uh, he won't be here for a couple hours. Alright, alright, cool. Um, but thought you'd be at work right now. No, not today. What? Why are you here so early? Took the day off. Thought I'd tie up some loose ends. Yeah, man, I know how that is. It ain't enough hours in a damn day. But I will tell James you came by though. All right, you do that. Can I use your bathroom right quick? Auntie, when did you say Uncle James was coming home again? For well, a couple of hours, why? Huh? That nigga think I'm a sad victim. He got me fucked up. Really? Don't you love watching that one? Nah, that's some bullshit. There was also that exchange student from Thailand, but hey, baby. I don't think he even knew what it was. Hi. So Rob, we went out for All right, enough is enough. What's going on? What, what's the problem? Problem? Problem with what? With you two. Ain't no problem, right? Do not take my silence for ignorance, okay? I could feel the tension between you two. I just need to understand where it's coming from. Ain't nothing to understand. Nicole? It's not in a discussion right now. Hmm. So what, Charlie? You trying to be the cool guy, huh? Does this have to do with the pregnancy? Huh? What you saying? I think it's clear what I'm saying. But, Mom, I... What, you thought you could keep it from me until you until you started showing? And Charlie, you're supposed to be like a father figure to her. You keeping these type of secrets? Gee, I don't, I'm sorry. So who is it? What? Who's the boy that you caught her with? Because that's what happened, right? You caught her in here with some boy, and y'all thought it was a good idea to keep it from me. Huh, wanted to be her friend. Well, that shit backfired. Nicole, now you see how your mom found out about stuff can rumor her? But mom, it's not what she think. Nicole, please, can you just go? The adults need to talk. But mom, it's not- Did you hear what your mother just said to you? Oh, so now you want to be a father? What the hell wrong with you? It's either damned if I do, damned if I don't. I take up for her, it's a problem. I take up for you, it's a problem. You know what? Don't make this about you. About me? Oh, it ain't never been about me. Who is it? What? 
Who was the boy that got her pregnant? I don't know. So are you keeping secrets from me? No. Who are you protecting? Nobody. So you're really not gonna tell me? No, leave me the fuck alone about it. You're not doing her any favors by keeping this from me. You know, some things you just need to understand. Just know that I handled it. And you ain't gotta worry about nothing. <sighs> Stop talking to me like that. You know that shit turned me on. I'm fine, really. How's school? School's fine. How's home? Home's fine. How are you? I... Wait. Now, before you answer that question, Ashley, you know I know you very well, so please be full threat. So you think you know me, huh? Maybe I don't. Enlighten me, who is Ashley? What you see is what you get. What am I saying? That I'm strong, smart, friendly, fearless, and a people person. I love people when they love me. Ashley, do you trust me? Of course. All right, I'm going to challenge you. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. Ain't nobody scared of you. <laughs> Look, I agree that you're a strong person. But you're limiting yourself by your fear of not being accepted by the people you profess to love so much. You fear that they're going to see you as shallow, so you fill yourself with obsolete things to draw them to you. Okay, Doc, so you're saying that I'm a fraud? No, Ashley, on the contrary. All I'm saying is that you're losing yourself in your fear to please others. I'm saying that you are awesome within the person that you already are. And who was that? That's what you'd have to find out. Who's the older guy I saw you with yesterday? Is that your own? No. Well, I met your dad, so I know that wasn't him. Is that your special friend? I think the session is over, Doc. Ashley, look, running away from your troubles is not going to change anything. I'm not running away. Just time for me to go. Are you trying to protect someone? Have a good day, Doc. Ash Ashley, look, you're never going to get relief and your condition is never going to change unless you change. Thank you, Doc. Have a good day. Bye. So what's up? How you been? And I've been, I've been chilling. How about you? I'm fine. Oh, you like getting the pink? Oh, bag of money. I know. She got mm. the, she got she the got taxis on. Mmm, good money. I like it. She got flavor to her. You have that same look I had when I left the doctor's office. Yeah, he got that effect on people. Sometimes I feel like, why do we even keep going back to him when he keeps upsetting us? True. After I left the doctor's office, I mean, I was upset, but after a while, I just knew that he was right. I guess that's what it is. He tells us the things that we don't like to hear about ourselves, but we need to hear. Hey! Hey, girls, what's up? You know what? I ain't never had to worry about being disrespected in my whole life. So you were never teased about the way you talked or act? How exactly is it that I talked that I should have been teased? I'm not saying that you should have been teased. So what exactly are you saying? I'm just saying I know people like you who talk and act the same way, and they've been teased before. I'm so confused on why I should have been teased, though. I never said you should have been teased. Oh, my God. Like a damn faggot. Don't be scared to say it, girl. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, you are a faggot, cow. I thought y'all didn't like that word. We don't like it just as much as we wouldn't like one of your white friends calling you a nigga. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you allow it. Or, I mean, being called a whore. <laughs> Even when you know that you are. Well, you won't see me getting all bent up out of shape. I'm a one-man woman. I ain't no help. But you never told me who's that cutie I saw you with the other day. I told you what you needed to know. Which is? That you worried about the wrong thing. You need to be worried about your own man. <laughs> well, what about you? That tall, slim thing I saw you with. Uh, well, we just friends. She says he's just a friend. <laughs> yeah, we start off like that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I liked him, I guess. Or I did, I don't know. I mean, do you treat you nice? Yeah. 
I mean, take time out to listen to you. Care about your feelings. Yeah, I guess. So what's the problem? I don't know. It's just bad timing. I mean, y'all wonder why the gays is always winning. You bitches don't know what y'all want. <laughs> well, you need to go home and make things right with that tall cutie. How the fuck you know what her man look like anyway? You worried about the wrong thing. Where you know her from? Uh, school. Been cool for some time now. Oh, so what, you a little boyfriend or something? No, just a friend. I mean, don't sound so sad, little nigga. She told you she pregnant? She... She what? She told you who the papa is? No. She ain't mentioned him? No. Not even hint to it? No, it ain't like that. Yes, it is. You here because you trying to play motherfucking detective private eye. No, I'm not. So what the fuck you want? What you here for then? I was a little hard on her earlier. I just wanted to apologize. Oh, so your little conscience start eating away at you. Now you want to make right. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. That ain't what it is. You came because you want to get some pussy. What? It ain't like that at yes, all. Yes, it is, little nigga. I know that you want to either know who she fucking or you want to be the one she fucking. Either way, if you bring your little soft ass around here again, me and you will be having a different type of meeting, you dig? I ain't come here for no problem. Oh, 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 you trying to swell all up on me? Anthony? Charlie? Little What's soft going ass lights. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Hey, listen, you must have got these things all brave bigger to come by my crib, huh? What? I didn't even know they was coming by here. That ain't what G gonna think. What the neighbors gonna say? They seen them coming in. They heard all the noise. Fuck they gonna say, huh? Everybody know how much I love my ladybug. How protective I am of my family. Let's see how protective you gonna be when this baby birth. Let's see how you gonna be when I put you and that baby the fuck out. Put me out? That will stop the results. Fuck the results. If you was about that life, you would have said something a long time ago. What you gonna do? Wait it out? Hurt your mom later? Have everybody calling your mom a fool because she laying with a nigga that's fucking her daughter? Come on, you smarter than that. Maybe I was just asking for a test then. This ain't CSI. Them TV shows only show you half the shit. Ain't like I take a test and my motherfucking face pop up on the screen. You little silly ass. But you really thought I was going to take that test? You may not as be as smart as I thought you were. Bro. Maybe not, but when I tell them this baby by you. They going to look in your file and see that you've been a liar your whole life. What? Yeah. Your mom like the pillow talk? Gina told me you crave for attention any way you can get it. So what's your next move? I got the truth! The truth? Fuck the truth! You know how many motherfuckers is upstate for a truth that nobody believe? Better yet, you know how many motherfuckers is dead for telling the motherfucking truth? I'm sorry, Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm what? I'm sorry? Don't say sorry. Fuck sorry. I'm sorry, Charlie. Don't say sorry. Say, I apologize. I apologize, Charlie. Now, shh, 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 shh. Tell me it'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. Then we gotta make this right. And I just might forget about all this. No. Can you get down there and make no. a right?
I've seen your Instagram post of you and your wife. <laughs> Always and forever. The love of my life. Ronnie, are you fucking serious? Ronnie, what about me? What about us? How could you fucking... Tried to grab your ass. Like, don't get him punched up. Like, oh, come on, come on. Let me don't hype you up. Like, you know, right. I wonder if he the better to catch it up. What type of freak shit you on? Like, <laughs> yo, no, better to catch it. Stop. No, Slow down. I'm just saying, there's a lot of females in the world. Why you want to mess with another dude? Exactly. Let them be in La La Land and have all their little fun. Like, and we got all the bitches. Like, you want know, some other <laughs> shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, bro, you know. Ain't nobody scared of y'all. You ain't blowing kisses at you. What? Yo, 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 Ashley overdosed on prescription medication. Oh my God. What? Right now she's currently in ICU. Look, her family's distraught and they're asking for your prayers and support at this time. Oh my God, is she okay? I bet she was that damn boyfriend of hers. I really hope it wasn't. Mm, you got the tea. So tell us, what dude is this? Why you wanna be on her damn business? Not like that with your angry ass. I'm just saying, when you creeping with a married man, it's everybody's business. Excuse me. Why the hell are we even speaking about this if Ashley's in the hospital? Doc, what hospital is she in? Guys, look. I can't divulge information without the family's consent. Damn that, Doc. This is our friend. I understand. But just as you want me to respect your wishes, I have to respect the wishes of others. So what you want us to do, Doc? Continue to do what you've been doing. Survive. Tell me this didn't happen. No, tell me this didn't happen. I wonder sometimes if I did this to myself. Is it my fault? I wonder if I could put myself in a situation. Don't you say that. Don't you say that. I'm gonna do anything to deserve this. You understand me? Why didn't you come to us sooner? Don't know, Auntie. I didn't want no problems. Plus, I feel like I did it to myself. You didn't. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the cops. And then I'm gonna tell your uncle and he's gonna kill him. I'm telling you, he's gonna kill him. Auntie, uncle don't care no way. Uncle don't care about what? Hey, baby. Baby, what's going on? I'll let y'all talk. Talk about what? What's the problem? Uncle James. Yeah. Can you listen to me for one damn second? Boy, whatever you want to talk about, make it quick. Because you must have lost your mind talking to me like that. Talk quick? You know what? Sit down. Your auntie said that we should talk, so talk. You ain't got time for me, Uncle James. Thanks for trying to care. Boy, I work 10 hours a day, 
five days a week, okay? I go out and I put this family on my back every day. I walk out into this world and I carry the world on my back every day. So you think I don't have time for you because I'm providing for you? So your aunt wants us to talk. So talk, boy. Um, I appreciate you providing for the family and all. But it's more than just paying bills. It's real life issues going around the world. Real life issues? You got real life issues now? Hmm? Boy, I'm a provider. That's what I do. You are a student. That's what you do. So what? People are teasing you because of your, your sexual preference and you think you got some real serious stuff going on? Hmm? Try going out into this world and being the biggest nigga in the room and having a target on your back and I will show you some hurt feelings. Why can't you see past your own experiences? You're not the only one that had it bad. You don't know what I go through. Boy, you better watch your tone. No, um, you need to listen. Well, you must be crazy. Um, I'd rather get in trouble, get my ass whooped, before I get sitting here and be a victim in my own house. I'm scared to come home. I'm scared of being in this house. What are you saying? Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? I never wanted this to happen. Oh, it's like it's my fault. What are you? Oh. Oh. Come on. T <laughs> oh, Come on, what are you? What are you saying? Oh, <laughs> you were the one that be there for me. You wasn't there. I could say you wasn't there. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I got you. What's up, Jay? Hey, babe. Nick. Nick, have some manners. Don't tell her nothing. She keep a little pissy ass attitude in the back. Take it easy on her, okay? For what? Huh? Look, sometimes you just gotta be the bigger person. Her friend OD'd last night. She ain't taking it well. Damn. So your friends out here messing with them drugs, huh? It wasn't even like that. She was being raped. That's some bullshit. I'm playing the victim when you out there doing wrong. Fuck out of here. It looks like you killed. You would have died a long time ago. Nicole! Don't tell her nothing. She's just mad because a little friend came by the other day got his little feelings hurt. Man, she a little salty. Nobody's scared of you. You sure? Huh? Yo, can y'all just cut it out? Damn. Man, that's her with her bullshit. You don't want that's bullshit. Nicole, that is enough. What's gotten into you? Nothing. Well, it don't sound like nothing. I can't even relax with my family. It's just. <sighs> Look, a lot of things were said. That should not have been. She just wants somebody to feel sorry for a little ass friend. Oh, what the, oh, the hell is wrong with you? Go the hell, I hate you! Get your little ass out the front and the shit out you for scratching me! You better be glad I didn't do anything else to you! What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm not scared of you anymore! You ain't gotta be scared to get your little ass whooped! Why don't you tell everybody you got me pregnant? Did she just say you got her pregnant? Are you fucking kidding me? No, we all out. Well, I hope y'all got y'all bread today, because I'm taking everybody chicken. Everybody. Yo, what up, D? Heard you came by the crib a few days ago looking for me. Yeah, I was in the area, so I figured I'd say what's up. On a Thursday? Those are my long days. I don't usually touch the crib till late. But you already know that. 
I slipped my mind. D, keep doing what you're doing. He trying to talk you out your game, bro. Next thing you know, he got all your bread. That's funny, though. You work halfway across town. She was at my crib in the middle of the day. You usually call to confirm first. She won. I was running there as I was in the area. Plus, I would have stopped by and called, but my phone had already been dead. I feel you. Well, why don't you go grab them cars from over there for me? No. I don't no more. We went in with these cars Yo, right here. No, we grabbed them cars from over there on that deck. always man. scheming, man. Yo, what's going on? Shit, man! What happened? Yo, no, what happened? I'm killing it! What you gonna kill him for? You raped my nephew, punk! What? Hey, you raped my nephew, fuck! Kill that nigga, man! Turn. You know what? Fuck y'all, I'm out. Yeah, you just need to be out. Cause the next time I see you, your ass is dead, motherfucker. Get the fuck out! Listen, I ain't even talking to you, dude. This ain't got nothing to do with you. It does now. You must be really ready to die over this pussy. Huh? Now, I told you little soft ass before to stay out of my business. Now, where'd G at? I told you she not here. I told you. Yeah, see, see, see. See, I thought I made myself clear when I told your ass to cool it. Then you don't want to die this bitch! See? See, you're all here. See, they didn't school you. Cause ain't no pussy worth dying over. Get the fuck up! Get over here! See, what I'm gonna do this? I'm gonna make you watch this shit. Show them that shit that I taught you. Show them that shit that I taught you. And if you don't do it, I'm gonna pop your ass. It ain't happening. No? What's fucked up is that you are all probably clapping, saying I got what I deserve. But it's more than one side to everything. I mean, yeah, what I did was wrong. And I'm not trying to justify anything I did. It was wrong. But hurt people hurt people. Maybe if I wasn't touched when I was young, I wouldn't have been so comfortable with making moves like this. Maybe if the woman who touched me wasn't touched by her pop, she wouldn't feel so comfortable touching me. And maybe if he didn't see his pop beating and knocking off his chick at will, he wouldn't have touched her. You see, this problem is bigger than me and Nick. This shit been going on for years. And if you think it stopped here with me bleeding out, y'all just as sick as y'all thought I was. So, am I still a bad guy? Do y'all think I still got what I deserve? Think about it. Is this all I'm worth? Can't barely think, can't barely breathe, can't barely eat, can't even sleep cause I'm weak And I don't know what to do, I need someone out there to hear me cry I need someone out there to take this pain from deep inside of me Is anybody somebody out there? Can someone can rescue me? Can anybody, somebody hear me? Can someone... 